Hello, welcome everybody to another Facebook Friday, right? It's a Frilici Friday. It's a beautiful, beautiful summer Friday, end of June. So excited that summer is here and just able to be out and enjoy the beautiful weather. So hopefully you guys have been able to do that. I know it's been kind of hot. Today might be another hot one, but it feels pretty good. I don't have air conditioning in this house. So this is always like the test of like, how hot is it outside, right? So it's not too bad. It's actually really pleasant in here right now. So hopefully not too, too hot this weekend. Hey, Jamie, hello on summer break. That is so awesome. And I think your little guy, Knox, just had a birthday. So happy birthday to Knox. Hello, Susie, how are you? So excited to be here with you guys today because we are playing with, I think I was teasing you guys with this post. The um, We're gonna play with some new, well actually, let me back it up, back it up. Celebration, we have another celebration coming on July 1st, which is next Friday. So one week from today, you can start ordering out of the celebration brochure. So actually not ordering, you can get for free. So if you order $50 in product, you can get items for free out of the celebration brochure. I cannot open this catalog brochure yet and show you the inside of it, but I can show you some fun things that are in there that we're gonna play with today. So here, this is the, and it's kind of a combo. So the, uh, it's called the Hippest Hippos Stamp Set. So look at those super cute little dancing and fun, happy, happy hippos, right? And we've got some cute sentiments like, you're always on point. So I think that might be a little uh, hippo ballerina, right? Hi, Bonnie. Hello, thank you for sharing. Um, we've got, you're so hip, right? Kind of a play on words there. Aw, you're really the best. Super cute. Hello, Diana. And then love you a ton. That one's kind of a fun one too, like another little pun for the hippos, right? And then they have the hippo dies. Debbie, hello, welcome. Um, the hippo dies, I'll show them this way. Of course, they're backwards, um, but you can see the three hippo images that are in the hippo stamp set can be die cut. And then there's lots of other fun, I'll lift that up. There's like a little bucket and waves, of, um, like an umbrella, um, almost like they're snorkeling, right? A little snorkel right there. Lots and lots of fun little goggles too. So summer fun for the hippo with these hippo dies. So both of these items are free with a $50 order. So if you spend $50, you can either get the stamp set or the dies. If you spend $100, you can get both the stamp set and the dies. Um, and so we're gonna have lots of fun playing with those later today. Like I said, these items are free with your 50 or $50 order or $100 if you want both of them uh, starting next uh, Friday, July 1st, okay? If you're a demonstrator, we can be pre-earning celebration rewards already. So that's how many of us have gotten our hot little hands on these awesome products already. And that's one of the beauty, uh, one of the best parts of uh, buying that starter kit, becoming a demonstrator. Demonstrator is a word that's used very loosely too. You do not have to demonstrate anything if you do not want. You do not have to do Facebook Lives. You don't have to do classes. Most people become demonstrators just because they want to get that 20% discount. And actually, while I'm going off, I'm going off script here, but it feels like a good time to just mention that there is another awesome celebration deal that will be starting a starter kit deal, I guess I should say. So <clears throat> if you're interested, um, starting July 1st, you can get this awesome deal. You always get to pick $125 in product. You pay only $99 plus uh, shipping or plus sales tax, no shipping, shipping fee that 10%, 11, it's actually 11%, the 11% shipping fee is waived. Hello, Miss Deb, plus you also get, and I, like I said, I can't show you guys, I ordered it and I don't have it yet, it'll be here for our next Facebook Live, but it's something called the Making Plans Collection. I'm kind of a planner girl at heart, so I think this is a really, really fabulous, and I'm trying to read this, I don't have my glasses, and it's not, very bright in here, but you get, um, it is called the, uh, oh, it, and it's actually July, 2022 through December, 2023. So it's like a year and a half worth of planner pages, the making plans planner. And it's so cute. It's beautiful. Um, do I have anything else I can show you the outside of the, nope, but it's, it uses, um, the, the kind of motif is this beautiful floral um, kind of calypso coral, maybe Pacific Point Old Olive, beautiful colors, floral colors that are on this planner. 
And then you also get the Making Plans Notebook Trio. So there are three different notebooks and they're beautiful also. And then the Making Plans Stamp Set. And that is a 28 piece photo polymer stamp set. So in addition to picking $125 in product, you get that Making Plans collection free with your starter kit starting on July 1st. So that's the celebration deal. So all of July and all of, all of August. And I have, like I said, I have ordered that. I just don't have it yet, unfortunately. I was hoping it would be here in time for Facebook Live, but I'll be able to show you that awesome planner and the notebooks and the stamp set on our next Facebook Live that we do. I will definitely have it by then. And then you guys can see what else you can get in that awesome starter kit deal. Plus the best part about getting the starter kit deal is that 20% discount that you get on everything that you order after that. So you get a great deal to start and then you get um, an awesome discount on anything that you buy after that. So uh, let me know if you guys have any questions on that, but I'll be talking about that too throughout celebration also. So let's see, okay, what else do I wanna show you guys? Oh, well, in addition, we have a new mini catalog, the July to December holiday, I call it, mini catalog. It's got other, um, not just Christmas, but other holidays in here. So we've got, um, let's see, what do we have? Like fall themed um, products and then Halloween and Thanksgiving, and then obviously lots of, um, Christmas and winter themed products in here too. Again, I can't open this yet, not until July 1st, but you'll be able to start ordering um, out of this on July 1st. If you're a demonstrator, we can pre-order out of here as well. Hello, Lori, how are you? I feel like I haven't seen you in forever. I hope um, you're having a good summer. Um, okay, let's see. So what else do I wanna show you guys? Oh, just a couple of quick reminders. The um, kit sale, so all of the kits that Stampin' Up! is selling are buy one, get one half off. I don't have any of the kits here to show you guys. Um, and, the, and it's always kind of, I don't wanna say always changing, but they're only available online. They're not in print in any of the catalogs. So if you're interested in a card making kit for yourself or they make a great gift also, hop on to stampinup.com. If you click on kits, you'll be able to see all the kits that are available. And again, you can buy one kit and get the second kit at half off. So it's a great deal this whole month of June that um, sale is going on. But keep in mind, it'll be done um, next Thursday. Thursday, June 30th, okay? Also, what will be done is our January to June mini catalog. Oh, good, yes, lots of super products. You're right, Bonnie, there's lots of beautiful stuff in there. And good, Lori, I'm, I'm glad you're having, oh, it says busy summer. Hopefully that means it's a good, a good fun summer too. Um, okay, so yeah, last few days to order out of the January to June mini catalog. It ends on June 30th, so next Thursday. We have lots of things um, listed like on, hello, Kay, how are you? We have lots of great products uh, listed on this last chance list, which is kind of a mouthful, like an eyeful, right? But there are a bunch of things that are on sale too. So if you haven't had a chance yet, honestly, I think probably about the easiest, best way is again, just go to stampinup.com, click on, there's always like a banner across the top, click on the last chance banner, and you'll be able to see everything that's still available and the sale price of everything too. So, okay, thank you for sharing the video. Hello, how are you? Um, okay, let's see, I moved my notes. I think we are, let's do our first drawing, okay? Um, let's see, what do we have? Oh, the polished dots, right? So these are the beautiful um, retiring, these are one of the retiring, the last chance products, right? So we've got some kind of, I think they're like a petal pink and a clear, kind of um, a beautiful like faceted gem kind of thing. Um, so these are what we're gonna give away. If, as always, if you shared the last Facebook Live video, anytime between when I'm doing the video right now and our next Facebook Live video, if you share it, your name is in the drawing. And then also, if you have not signed up for my email list and you do that, I check every time I do a Facebook Live, I check to see who do I have as new subscribers um, on my constant contact list and whoever has subscribed to my email that's new gets their name in here also so um, and I will include the link if you are new to me and you are not receiving my email that's one of the best ways um, I am very good at communicating through email so that's one of the best ways to kind of stay updated on everything that's going on here locally with the stamp studio um, with my classes and events and then also promotions and things that Stampin' Up! has going on too so I'll include that link in this uh, Facebook Live video after we get it uploaded this afternoon. Okay, so here we go. All right, one lucky winner will receive these 
polished dots and they go to Miss Debbie Green. All right, congratulations, Debbie. I think you might even be watching right now. So yes, oops, I like my uh, hair gets stuck in my lip gloss. Uh, you will be receiving those polished dots. So I'll get those sent out to you, Miss Debbie. So thank you for sharing the video too and signing up for my email list. I appreciate both of those gestures from everyone. Okay, to get the next drawing ready to go. In the meantime, okay, we have some fun new product we're gonna give away on our next Facebook Live. So these are the heart pearls. And I wanna try to show you guys. I think it's a little bit hard to tell. <laughs> yes, Debbie, you're on there. Woo, congratulations. Um, okay, so they have, um, I wish I, let's see, where's my catalog? Because they're from the annual catalog. I wanna see what they say about the heart pearls because it's, there are a couple of different kind of shades. Well, not shades, they're all white. Um, but let's see, what do they say about them? Because now I'm curious. Um, heart pearls, 180 adhesive backed pieces. Oh, it does say in three colors. Okay, so <laughs> milky white, glossy white, and pearl white. Okay, so they're all shades of white. Milky white, glossy white, and pearl white. So I knew they were all a little bit different, right? Milky, glossy, and pearl, okay. So there we go, probably milky, glossy, and pearl is what I'm looking at. So the pearly ones will have a little, you know, you could probably pick up some pinks and greens in those, and then those are the um, shiny ones, and then these are the milky kind of, um, yeah, washed. So anyway, but they're so, they're just these cute little pearls, right? Okay, so I haven't even had a chance to use these. I was like, okay, this would be a fun something to give away. So. Again, if you share the Facebook Live video right here, right now, anytime between now and the next Facebook Live, and if you sign up for my email list, your name will go in the drawing to win the heart pearls, okay? So like I said, we'll do that on the next Facebook Live drawing. All right, um, oh, I wanna show you guys. So we had our team meeting that was just this week on Tuesday, and we had some beautiful make and takes featuring the Charming Sentiment stamp set, which I know I used um, a couple of weeks ago, right? I didn't use them, or I did, actually. We used them on our last Facebook Live. What I didn't use were the die cuts that cut out the sentiments. So let me show you an example right here of one of our make and takes. Oh, and also the Awash and Beauty Designer Series paper we used on these cards. And then we used the Old Olive and the some of them we used the Sahara Sand Twill Ribbon. Um, and this ribbon is beautiful and super easy to work with. But here's one of the sentiments in the Charming Sentiment stamp set, and you can see how the die cuts it out perfectly. So here is, this is one of the cards I made on our last Facebook Live. So there's that same sentiment. You can just stamp it, right? Or you can stamp it and die cut it like we did on that make and take. And again, that beautiful a Wash and Beauty Designer Series paper. We did also color some of our rhinestones with our blends. So I don't know if you can see like those little guys right there, kind of beautiful, almost like a pinky purpley. I think we used Rich Razzleberry on those. So that was one of our make and takes. And then here's another. This is a great sentiment, right? Faith over fear. This is the um, Sahara Sand Twill Ribbon. And then some more of our rhinestones that we colored. I think we used Calypso Coral on that one. And then some more of the Awash and Beauty Designer Series paper on that kind of fun pattern on that one. Then we have a thank you card. This is a great one that really features, this is a great card layout too, that, so you can really feature three different patterns of designer series paper on one card, which is not always easy to do, right? So I think that was an awesome card too. This is one of the flowers from the paper that we just fussy cut as well as the leaves there too. But again, that thank you, you could die cut that. We did not on that one, but you certainly could. And then last we have, though, wishing you the happiest of birthdays. These are the deckled rectangle dies, which I, I know I used, I think we used actually on um, a project that we made in one of my card classes. But can you kind of see, so it's almost like, um, like a ripped paper edge, if you can, if I get really close, can you see that? And then also on the white piece too. And then there's the inside of that one. The sentiment says, because you totally deserve it. Yes, so wishing you the happiest of birthdays because you totally deserve it. And so can you kind of see that edge, that little ripped paper edge? Again, they're called the deckled rectangle dies. So that's kind of a fun one too. So those were our make and takes. 
that's something else to know as well, right? That if you become an Inkspired Stamper, if you buy the starter kit, you can get these make and takes every single month. I charge, um, let's see, $5 if you come to the meeting or have porch pickup if you're not able to come to the meeting and then they're $10 to ship to you for those four awesome cards. I give you all the parts and pieces. You do need your own stamp set to do your stamping because I can't do the stamping for you. Um, but you get everything there too. So we, every month we have make and takes at our team meetings. And like I said, I can get those mailed out to you. We also do swap cards. So let me show you our swap cards. This first one was uh, Charlene Mogg created this cute little birthday card and she did it in all of our in colors. So this one is obviously the parakeet party color um, with the designer series paper and the ribbon and then the little, well you guys aren't gonna be able to read it, right? I don't know which way, so even like, I think it might be that way, right? Happy birthday. Then this one, and I'm not sure who, I'm trying to think if I can kind of narrow it down. I think maybe Jenny, Jenny Bachman, I'm gonna say, made this card. The super, isn't that so fun, the swimsuits? I just think that those are absolutely adorable. Somebody else was kind of commenting, they're like, I, I, that didn't really catch my eye um, in the catalog. And I didn't notice it either, but I've seen a few people stamping with it. And so I think kind of that fun little like retro swimsuit, that one's kind of cute on there too, right? And we've got, it says make a splash on there, right? And then Sharon made this one, Sharon Greening, and she used that same, um, what is it, the Charming Sentiment stamp set and then the Silhouette dies, I think they are. She also, hello, Cindy, how are you? Thanks for joining us. I'm glad you can be here on Facebook Live with us. The other fun thing, Sharon actually showed us how, like, I don't know if you can see that that teacup is kind of glossy. So what you can do, this is kind of a fun little trick that she shared with us. She loves to watch other people's YouTube videos, so I can't remember who showed this, you know, where she got the idea from, um, but she brought it to us here at the Inspired Stampers, and I thought I gotta tell you guys about that. Basically what you do is you take, so this is um, our new Sweet Sorbet in color. She took a piece of cardstock and she just put the clear packing tape over top of it so that it looks kind of glossy, and then she die cut that teacup with you know, with the paper, with the clear packing tape on top of it, and it almost looks like it's like embossed or something. So I don't know if you can see that, but I thought that was kind of a fun little trick. And she did the same thing with the um, lemon there too on her teacup. Again, it's sometimes I'm not really sure if you can see very well, but um, I think that was kind of a fun idea too. And then Miss Sunday Ostrander made this card too. So a cute little fishy one, and it says a sea of thanks. Isn't that so cute? And she used some of our designer series paper, but I have not really had a chance to check out um, that little stamp set. So I'm not even sure the name of it, but I think it's just how fun, right? A sea of thanks. And then lastly, Miss Julie Wilmot made this fun card with the Scotty dog, <clears throat> which is actually from the new holiday catalog. So she had new holiday catalog product. So this is a punch with the Scotty dog. And then some of the designer series paper with this one says thinking of you on it. Oh, and she did send, um, or she put a little sentiment on the inside there too that says sending you happy thoughts, woof. <laughs> so I'm sure that's from that stamp set. And then there is the envelope she gave everybody too with the little Scotty dog on there also. So super cute uh, swap cards that everyone came up with this month. So that's something else that we do in the Inkspired Stampers. And even if you're long distance, so you know if you're watching and you don't live close to us here, if you're you know a ways away, you can make swap cards, mail them to me. I trade them around with everybody and then mail them back to you. So it's a great way to get lots of ideas and especially maybe things that don't catch your your eye um, but maybe maybe they will help catch your eye or when you show them with um, like other friends and family and customers maybe it's something like I said that's not something that you're interested in so you don't have to necessarily buy everything right but then you've got these cute ideas that you can share with others as well that without having to like buy everything too so swapping is a great way to get lots of cute ideas and to be able to share those ideas with others so I encourage you to think about that, getting that starter kit through us, through the Inkspired Stampers, through me or anybody in my team. Um, and we do lots of fun make and takes and swapping and sharing. The team meetings are awesome. So I'd love to have you be a part of those. Those are the third Tuesday of every month. So again, if anybody's interested in getting more info on the starter kit, let me know. The one other thing that I love to do 
is recognize, hello Monica, I recognize my top five sellers every single month and make them a cute card saying congratulations, you're number one, two, three, four, or five um, in sales for the Inkspired Stampers for the month. If they sell over $600 in a month, they actually get into something that I call the $600 club. And I love to recognize them for that because Stampin' Up! actually gives extra commission if you have more than $600 in sales in um, uh, and orders for the month, then they give you an extra commission or bonus. It's basically like cash in your pocket. They just deposit it right in your checking or savings account. Um, so I love to make sure everybody's aware of that, especially if you're, you know, you're at sales of $550. If you get one more order of $50, um, then you're going to get that extra commission and almost, you know, even if you put the order in, it's like you get that money back with the extra commission that you earn. So this month, the $600 club prize for anyone that had sales of more than $600 were the flower adhesive backed trinkets. And these are beautiful, um, I don't know if you guys can see, these beautiful gold um, flower trinkets. They are pretty weighty. It was funny because somebody won them um, at our, we do raffles also at our team meetings, and Sharon won them. She's like, wow, they, I'm like trying to show you guys, like you can't tell, but they're actually like, they're pretty serious, substantial um, I mean, they're like metal, like little metal flowers. So they're super cute. They'd be fun um, on any project that you can think of that needs a little, a fun little heart. So again, that was our $600 clip price. And I do that every single month, pick out a cute embellishment, ribbon, something fun to say, congratulations. You had sales of more than $600 and you made it into the $600 club. Plus you get that awesome commission from Stampin' Up too. So more to think about. Um, okay, I think... Lots of chatting, chatting, chatting. I'm trying to make sure. I feel like I've showed most everything here, right? So, <clears throat> get this stuff out of the way. We're gonna do our next drawing. I always love to make sure everybody knows how this one works. So if you're new to Facebook Live, if you haven't watched or just don't remember, basically I make two projects every single time we do Facebook Live. These are the projects that I made on our last Facebook Live um, featuring, this is more of that A Wash and Beauty Designer Series paper. Again, the charming, charming sentiment stamp set and dies, right? So we've got this fun little fold right here. And then this one right here. And I know someone was commenting, they're like, oh, it's beautiful, but how do you write inside of that? And I received a card that was made like this a couple of years ago. She actually turned it sideways. Hi, Robin, how are you? And then she wrote, so I'm sure she probably kind of marked. So she just wrote and she wrote across this way because obviously trying to write this way is not very, you can't fit much, right? But if you write this way and then just don't write in the middle and then you can flip down and you can finish writing this way also, um, then you can actually get a pretty good amount of words in there, whatever you would like to say. You can kind of fit that in behind the flaps if you just do it sideways. Oh, there we go. <laughs> and then they turn it back tall ways. So you can write in this card um, if that was something that was a concern for you. Okay, so again, anybody, oh, I should mention, if you put an online order through me, you always get the two cards that I demonstrated on our last Facebook Live. Make sure you use the host code, right? Just at least a $30 order gets you these two cards as a thank you from me. Your name is also in the drawing to win my favorite and I still need to play with it. I played with it a tiny bit, but I'm like, I gotta, I gotta get this paper out and play with it some more. This is the Butterfly Kisses Designer Series paper. You get this for, while well, your name goes in the drawing, right? If you bump your order up to over $50, you get to pick from our free embellishment this month, which is the Solid Faceted Gems. So anybody that has an order over $50 can get either these Solid Faceted Gems or the Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial. And this is my cute little birdie card that's in these tutorials this month. There are 16 tutorials in here. I always try to flip this and I feel like you can never really see very well, but you get the idea, right? So beautiful projects in here, step-by-step, step, how to do everything, 16 projects. That's your other option that you can get for free with a $50 order every single time you order. So if you, if you put a couple orders in in the month, one time you can get the embellishment and the next time you can get the PDF tutorial. So it's my way of saying thank you very, very, very much for your orders because I truly appreciate those. So, all right, here we go. We are gonna do the drawing for the Butterfly Kisses Designer Series paper. Again, anyone that ordered over $30, your name is in here. And let's see, we will have one lucky winner. All of a sudden, I think it's because I'm like talking so much. Like it got, I think it's about 10 degrees warmer in here than it was when I started. 
I think I just get so excited about Facebook Lives. Okay, and excited to draw one lucky winner, and her name is Miss Trish Hall. All right, congratulations, Trish. You are the winner of the Butterfly Kisses Designer Series paper, so I will get that paper sent out to you. Okay, on our next Facebook Live, we will, where's my prize? Oh, I know. I'm like, oh, it's I, like I've already kind of showed you this. We are I'm actually going to give away the hippo, the hippest hippos stamp set and the hippo dies. You're going to get both of these. If you order just $30 through me, I'll give you the host code in just a little bit, but this is what I'm going to give away. This is actually what we're playing with today also, right? Okay. So $30 order, get your name in the drawing to win the hippest hippo stamp set and the hippo dies on our next Facebook live. So woohoo! how about that? Huh? And you guys are going to fall in love with the stamp set and dies when you see um, the fun that you can have with them. Okay. All right. I think we are ready let's see i think i've showed you guys pretty much everything okay we are gonna yeah we're gonna flip the camera down um fly through the air and then i'm gonna show you a couple more things and we'll do our stamping okay so turn your heads away for a sec while we do this okay we got lots of lawn care going outside maybe you guys hopefully you can't really hear it lots of buzzing in the neighborhood Okay, we're gonna flip it. There we go. Okay. Let's see. There, okay, I think we're good, right? You guys can see me, you can see my hands. Okay, where's my list? I had it right here. Okay, ooh, today, I gotta mention this real quick. Today is the last day to RSVP for this lovely in linen class to go. These are the four cards in the class to go. Um, you get all the parts and pieces to make two of each of these cards, right? Option number one, and I didn't bring everything over, but you get the lovely and lasting bundle, which is the stamp set that has the cheers, thinking of you, the thank you, the little flowers, the happy birthday, the outline on there, that stamp set, and then the punch that is this shape of punch right here. Um, plus you get a quarter of a pack of this designer series paper. You get a full bolt of the pale papaya ribbon and you get a full package of the opal rounds. The designer series paper is actually free and option number one. You're welcome, Trish. I'm so glad that you were able to see that you were the winner. That's awesome. It's so fun when people are on the live and they get to, um, you know, react live to that. So I'm awesome. So excited that you were here with us today. Um, okay. So back to option number one, you get the paper, the designer series paper for free. Um, you also get the PDF tutorial that tells you how to put all the projects together in the tutorial. Option number one is $72. Then option number two is if you already have the stamp set and the punch, you're going to get the quarter pack of the paper, you're going to get the pale papaya ribbon, and you're going to get the opal rounds. Option number two is $33. If you need option number one or two shipped to you, it's an additional $10 for the priority mail shipping. If not, we waive the shipping fee and I just put it on the porch and you pick it up whenever it's convenient for you. Option number three is the PDF tutorial that tells you how to put these cards together. You wanna do everything on your own. You just wanna know how to do it, what are the colors, the dimensions, the product codes for everything that you need. That is $13, or excuse me, $15. It's also free to anybody in my Inkspired Stampers, so another great reason to buy that starter kit through us. And then option number four is also for my Inkspired Stampers. They can get the make and takes for just $12. Um, okay, RSVPs are due today, though, so today is the last day you can sign up. And I just love the paper is gorgeous. The stamp set is awesome. The punch is super cool. Going to be able to use that. You guys can see that, right? And the little outline. I love that little outline there, too. So if you're interested, if you have any questions, let me know on that. Okay. Let's do our stamping. I get my I'm trying to find my grid paper. Woohoo! <laughs> All right, thanks, Deb. I'm glad you like those cards. Oh, the other thing. Okay, let's see. Actually, I'll show you those as we go, right? Okay. So we have, we're gonna do this card first. Okay, can you guys see the little hippo? Isn't she, I'm gonna call her she cause she's got her little pink cheeks there, right? She's so cute, right? And then there on the inside. So I have to show you guys, cause I love this card layout came from, did I keep it? Yes, 
So Deb Snyder, this was a swap that I received and we actually made this at our Simple Beautiful card class this month. And I love the layout so much that I was like, okay, we are gonna do a card like that, like the layout, right? We're gonna do that with our Hippist Hippos stamp set and dies. So anyway, we basically cased from Deb Snyder to make this project that we're gonna do right now. Okay, so let's see, what do we have here? We did do a little bit of coloring too, and I, I'll show you, I'll kind of walk you through what I did. Okay, so I think we've got everything. So this one is, um, excuse me, is a little bit different because the card base, <laughs> thanks Linda, I'm glad that you like that. I know it's kind of a fun one, something different. So this one is, it's just tricky, right? Okay, so this is a half a sheet of Calypso Coral cardstock. So five and a half by eight and a half, right? Because if I, we cut our full sheet in half at five and a half, and then we cut it in half again at four and a quarter. So it actually can get four card bases. You guys see that? Out of one piece of Calypso Coral cardstock, okay? Then we have a piece of Daffodil Delight cardstock that we layer on top that is three and three quarters by four and three quarters. So that's gonna go on there. And then kind of our card base, if you will, is this thick whisper white that measures three and one quarter by eight and a half, and we scored it at four and a quarter inches. So that's gonna go there. So that's kind of the beginning of our layout, right? Then we have our piece of designer series paper that goes across right here. This is, I'll tell you about it in just a sec, one and a half by four and a quarters uh, inches is that piece of designer series paper. And then we have the other one that goes right here, right? This piece of designer series paper goes right there. And this one is two and three quarters by three and three quarters, okay? Oh, and then I have just this little strip that goes inside there for the love you a ton sentiment that is one half inch by two and three quarters. And then I've got some other scraps for our stamping and die cutting. And I'll tell you guys about those in just a sec. Hello, Brenda. Hello, hello. Thanks for joining us. Okay. Um, oh, I wanted to show you guys real quick before I forget the designer series paper. So we use a couple of different packs. So the first one is this guy right here, and I showed kind of front and back, right? So super duper cute with the little mushrooms on it. And then there's the back side. This is the Happy Forest Friends Designer Series paper. So just because I think it's so cute, we're just gonna kind of take a quick peek at this paper. So this is front and back of the mushroom, right? And then aren't those cute with the little trees and the owls? Can you guys see that? And then there's the back side. We've got some more trees right there. <laughs> it is so cute, right? Yes, and those, I think they're a little bit cartoony or something, so they're just so cute. This paper is beautiful too, and it looks very good. Um, I think like a fall, winter look there too. And then with those kind of tree rounds there, and then some more fun prints and patterns, right? Oh, and then the little bears too. This is all kind of sideways, but yes, the little bear saying hello guys and the cute little flowers and birds and things. And then that's the back side of that one. So you can see like the front is a little more patterned and the back is just kind of some uh, monochromatic, I guess, patterns on there. Then, okay, so the other fun thing is this designer series paper on the outside. We've got that beautiful floral print right there, right? And then that kind of fun stripey print this is a package of paper that you can get for free. It is called the Wonderful World Designer Series Paper. So it's 12 by 12 Designer Series Paper, obviously. And it comes with a stamp set also that I forgot to bring over here, but it's, so the stamp set and the Designer Series Paper are free during celebration with a $100 order. Okay, so let me just pull out. So this is the piece that we used, and then there's that pretty floral on the back side. On our other card, we used this piece of designer series paper, and then there's more beautiful floral there. And then isn't this gorgeous? Looks like it might be upside down too, but you guys kind of get the idea. Okay, and there's that piece again that we used, and then this floral, and then that, yeah, with the yellow stripes on the back, and then some more floral with isn't that pretty paper there too? And then this one right here with more flowers on the back. So again, this paper, the Wonderful World Designer Series paper is free with your $100 order because you get a stamp set too. Okay, so I think we are ready. Um, I am going to show you, I actually did 
a lot of my coloring. I wanted to kind of get that done for you um, so I didn't have to do quite as much right in front of you. So I left kind of a little bit of the detail that I need to do. So I gotta slip my glasses on here so I can see what I'm doing. Okay, so we stamped the hippo. This little cute little hippo right here, she's like a winking too, right? And that little flower, we stamped it in black memento ink. <laughs> You're right, Linda, no one does DSP like Stampin' Up. Yes, so many cute options for us, right? Okay, so I am using, this is the Light Smoky Slate Marker, okay? So I've already colored in most of it, and I want to just kind of show you to finish off, well, I guess I should say I'm going to use my Dark Petal Pink Marker, and I'm going to give her some kind of round pink cheeks so i'm just going to color those in right there okay i'm going to color that little flower in with our dark uh daffodil delight marker now normally my face would be right down in there trying to make sure i got in the lines i think i did okay it's a little <laughs> it's a little hard to tell for sure and then i used okay just trying to be really careful. This is my uh, dark granny apple green marker, okay? So you can just kind of barely see, right? So there's her pink cheeks uh, in petal pink, dark, the daffodil delight dark on the flower, and then the granny apple green dark, okay? Now I'm gonna come back with my light smoky slate marker, and I'm just gonna kind of color, and I'm gonna go right over top of that pink. I'm just gonna kind of swirl this in and around. Okay, so we've got her kind of all colored in there. And then I went through and I used my color lifter, okay? And I wanted to kind of make her face and her belly be a little bit lighter. So you just kind of go back and swirl through here with your color lifter. Kind of take a little bit of that color off. I'm trying not to take the color off around um, the flower or the leaf. But can you kind of see how that's pulling back just a little bit of this? So we've got a little bit of kind of shading there. There, isn't that so cool how that does that? There. And you could, if I lifted too much, I could kind of come back and like, yeah, just a little more pink there just to give her those pink cheeks, right? So there is my cute little hippo friend that is telling us, right, love you a ton, okay? Okay, so we're gonna die cut this. We are also going to use, this is the a new punch. I'm trying to remember the name of it. It's like a, oh, I'm gonna have to look it up. I can't remember, to be honest. But we have basic white cardstock. We're gonna just punch that. It's some kind of a label punch. I just can't think right now, but I did use it last week too, pretty sure, because I really kind of love that punch, right? Then we are going to, hi, Susan, how are you? Well, thank you for sharing the video too. We're gonna to cut, if you can see, there's a little leaf and some flowers out of, this is Granny Apple Green and Calypso Coral. Yes, the new punch. Monica, if you know the name of it, share it with us, because I can't, totally blanking. It's like decorative square punch or something like that. No, that one's not this square. There's another one that might be named that. I don't know. I can't quite remember. I'm blanking out right now. Okay, but so we're going to grab our die cutting machine. We've got all of this stuff that I'm going to kind of move aside. So we need to die cut that and that and that. Oh, and oh, we got to stamp our little sentiment. Let's do that right now while I'm thinking about it too. Okay, so on the inside, that little strip is going to say, love you a ton. So we're going to grab our Calypso Coral ink. <laughs> You're excited about the celebration stuff, huh? Uh, let's see. Decorative circle. Okay. Thank you. I knew it was something. So it is, it's decorative circle, not decorative square. There we go. Mm, okay. That looks a little crooked. We're going to see if I can get it any better on this side. Okay. Yep. That looks better. So there's the cute little love you a ton. Again, with our Calypso coral ink that matches our Calypso coral cardstock. The beauty of Stampin' Up! Okay, now, so we're going to scoot that out of the way. I don't want to lose it, though. Okay, let's do our die cutting. I'll grab my die cutting machine. Here we go. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, we've got all these pieces. Okay, my dies. Okay, we are going to use, this one right here is gonna cut out that guy. And then these little flowers, so they're two flowers together with our Calypso Coral. And then where's my little, oh, right here. <laughs> I was trying to find this little guy kind of for the leaves or base of the flowers, okay? So we're just gonna put these on here. Okay, this is the only one I gotta line up well. Everything else, as long as it's on the cardstock, we're good to go. And if your dies are being futzy, then you just have to move things a little bit. Okay. All right, here we go. Making our cuts. Simple, simple. Okay, so check out this little. You see, isn't that cute? It looks like kind of cartoony almost, I think. Okay, and then these flowers, same thing. They're just so cute. Actually, we'll grab those in a sec. Okay, and then there's our hippo. Oh good, I did a good job cutting him too. Okay, get him lifted off. And he's she, not he. Isn't she so cute? Okay, so here are these little flower bits. And then that one right there. You can kind of see those, those are fun, right? Okay, all right, we're gonna scoot this out of the way and we can put this little hippo cart together. Okay. I think, all right, so we need our adhesive. Let me get the card in view so we don't like mess up at all, right? Okay, I'm gonna scoot those little pieces over a little bit because I don't think I need those for a sec. Okay, so we are gonna put this yellow piece, our Daffodil Delight piece, we're gonna put this on our Calypso Coral piece. That's gonna be step one. Okay. Put this one right there. Okay, next we are going to add, yep, we're gonna do our thick, basic white kind of card base. Oops. Run it and tip it back, Amy. If you don't do that, it doesn't kind of prepare it for the next run of your adhesive. Okay. There's that one there. Okay. Then we are gonna put this designer series paper right on the inside, the little mushroom paper <laughs> is what we'll call it, which it could be cute with that one too, right? We're gonna do this way on this one. I'm trying to find about the middle point and you're just gonna kind of eyeball it there. Okay, we are also going to, I need my little silicone mat. Whenever I'm working with little pieces, I think it's easier. Actually, we'll put these on here too. Okay, so we're gonna add some adhesive. Oops, I didn't tip it back very well maybe, right? Okay, so has got that one there, that one there, and that one there, and that one there. Okay, so we're gonna put these. Hi, Lisa. How are you? Okay, we're gonna add that little baby right there. Okay, we are gonna come back. Let's, we're gonna scoot those out of the way so we don't, I don't wanna pick those up quite yet. We're gonna add our designer series paper to the front of this piece right here. Okay, then we are going to add some adhesive behind our decorative circle punch. Thank you for that name. Such a fun one. Okay, so we're gonna add the decorative circle, maybe right about there like that. We are gonna put some uh, dimensionals behind our little hippo. Okay, peel these little babies off. Gonna add our little hippo right there. Okay, then we're going to add our little greenery. We're gonna put one flower maybe right there and then the other one can go right there. Now, just to add a little bling to things, we have, these are the classic matte dots that come in basic white, very vanilla, basic gray, and basic black. And we're just gonna pick up one of these little basic white circles, and we're just gonna put it right in the center of our flower, okay? On the inside, we're also gonna add, these are the fun flower resin shapes. We gave these away a couple weeks ago on Facebook Live. You can see on the inside here, I just put one of the little Calypso Coral, one of the, I 
think I used, yeah, a bigger one there. So we're gonna use a bigger flower. Just put that one right on the inside there, okay? And then lastly, hello, Philomena. Sorry you're late, that's no problem. We're just glad to have you joining us anytime. Okay, then lastly, I have my in color Baker's twine. Actually, I must have had this. I wonder if I can use this little piece right here. Thank you for the share, Philomena. Um, oh, thank you. <laughs> I know, Linda, that's how it works. So don't forget, I don't know if you heard or not, but I'm giving away the Hippist Hippos stamp set and the Hippo dies free. I'm going to put them in the drawing next Facebook Live so you could win those free with a minimum $30 order. Okay. So we've got our little baker's twine in parakeet party and i forgot my glue dots what i think i'm going to do is i'm going to try to run just a teeny little bit of adhesive which this works also especially for twine you just want like a little bit of adhesive right there so <laughs> there we go there is card number one isn't that so cute love you a ton so yeah i think that would be a fun it'd be a great just love you card, right? Birthday card, whatever you need, thinking of you, any kind of, um, anytime you need to say, I love you, this card would be a fun option for you, right? Okay, so there is our first project. I'm going to scoot these things out of the way, mainly so I don't get confused about what, what I need for the next card. Okay, these guys, I'm going to put like that, that, okay, just a little brief cleanup here more, like I said, to help me not get confused. Okay, so our next hippo card. Thanks, guys. I'm glad you're enjoying that one. So this is a fun little dancing hippo that says, "Ah, you really are the best. Since she's so cute with and the lots of different shades of purple here too. Those little hearts are also in the hippo dies too. So let me give you details on this one now. And again, this paper is part of this pack of paper that you can f get free with your hundred dollar order it's the wonderful world stamp set i'm sorry die uh, <laughs> wonderful world designer series paper and the wonderful world stamp set and it's basically kind of some flower images they look similar to the flower images on here also so beautiful stamp set and pack of paper free with your 100 dollar order starting next Friday, July 1st. Okay, so let's get these things out and I'll tell you what we've got going here. Okay, let's see. Okay, so we are going to start with this Daffodil Delight card base or car piece of cardstock, I guess I should say, right? Are we in? Let's get back in view, right? paper moves on me. Okay, Daffodil Delight cardstock. Along the 11 inch side, we cut it at five and a half inches. And then along the eight and a half inch side, we scored it at four and a quarter inches. Okay. I know the colors are beautiful, aren't they, Philomena? The, the purple and yellow. So this one is actually gorgeous grape. We've got gorgeous grape and uh, Highland Heather. And then the Calypso Coral is really pretty too, isn't it? Okay, so let's see. Oh, this, oh yeah, I did. I put that on the inside too. Okay, so on the inside of a card, I'll show you that. We've got our basic white standard layer. Generally always do this four inches by five and a quarter inches. And then this little strip of designer series paper is gonna go along the bottom. This one is one inch by five and a quarter inches. Okay, so that's gonna go right there. And then on the outside of our card, we have, this is the only other one you need to cut exactly, the designer series paper that measures two inches by five and a quarter. And it's got that fun pattern there. And then there's some more of the floral images on the other side, okay? Then I did, again, I did most of my um, coloring for my hippo, and I'll tell you the colors on there in just a sec. And then I've got some scrap pieces of gorgeous grape, Highland Heather, and a basic white, and another little strip for those uh hearts right there also in gorgeous grape so let's do our stamping on this one right here that says oh you really are the best and here's our gorgeous grape ink we're gonna just i'm gonna cheat i'm just gonna kind of lift it open like that close it up i did the nice easy tap 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 we're gonna press straight down lift straight up it's upside down but that's okay now it's right side up okay there we go with that one and i think that was all i didn't do any stamping on the inside okay like a dimensional on there. Let me tell you about the colors that I used here too, just so you know. I'm trying to see if I did anything else. 
I don't think so though. So I used, oh, I know I've got one little bit to show you guys. Again, I used my light smoky slate to kind of color all around my hippo. I used my light petal pink on the inside and then the ears, if you can see that. Okay, and then I used my light Highland Heather on her little tutu and her ballet slippers. So my last little step, if you guys can see, oops, I bumped that, didn't I? Sorry. I put little polka dots on her because I saw this, um, I think it was Dawn Griffith. She did a little hippo and she put little polka dots on her tutu and I thought it was so stinking cute. And I'm like, okay, I love that little idea. So this is so simple too. Basically, you're just gonna put little dots with your dark Highland Heather. So it's just gonna make it, because isn't that funny? I mean, this is cute, right? But you put the polka dots on and it's just that adds that extra little bit of cute factor. Okay, right? So we're just gonna kind of put a few dots. You don't have to do, you know, as many as you want, right? But there we go. Just use your dark Highland Heather to kind of make little polka dots on there. And I already cut her out with, these are the Stylish Shapes dies, okay? So I use the second largest on the hippo and I'm gonna use this big one on both of those squares behind and then this circle on that one, which looks like it's about the third smallest circle that we're gonna die cut our sentiment with, okay? So awesome set of dies. I've used this one a ton. This is gonna be my go-to. You guys are gonna be so sick of seeing these. If you don't have them yet, get them ordered because you are gonna use them all the time. Circles, squares, and banners, and they all have the stitching on them. Okay, so actually we don't need that one. We'll set that one aside, okay? And then from our hippo dies, we have just those little hearts right there we're gonna use on that card too. Okay, so I think that one's good, that one's good. We're gonna just scoot this stuff out of the way and we're gonna do our die cutting again. Okay. So yeah, I kind of wasn't totally sure what to do with the hippos either. So I got online, started getting some ideas, seeing what other people were doing and it's been a ton of fun. Uh, to play with them. I was very happy with how the cart cards turned out. And I have to tell you, I was kind of stressing because I wasn't, I wasn't feeling them at first. Um, but that's just a good thing to kind of know is, I mean, Pinterest is your friend too. I hopped on there and kind of got some inspiration from some of the other projects that people were sharing on there. Um, <laughs> can she get any cuter? Uh, yes, the stitch dies, they're awesome. And this thing is gonna break before our very eyes. One of these days, it's just gonna crack but we're just gonna keep on using it until then. Okay, so there's the one stitched circle, right? Love little stitchy circles. Okay, and then we've got one stitched square in Gorgeous Grape, and we're gonna do another one in Highland Heather. Man, that guy's not done trimming yet, huh? Or blowing, whatever. Can you guys hear that? Like, oh, go away, please. Come back after Facebook Live is done. It's just this buzz. Oh, well, at least it's summertime and they can be out there doing that. I guess that's how we have to look at that, right? Okay, so those little hearts and our stitched square. Okay. There we go, one more square. And then these little baby hearts. That one is still stuck in there. Okay, oh, there, I'm like, where did it go? Yeah, we're gonna move those right to the silicone mat. <laughs> so that I can put some adhesive on them. I'll show you those in a sec. You guys can kind of see what we're doing here. Okay, all right. We got it all. Oh, is he done? <laughs> nope. <laughs> okay. It's probably not that loud for you guys, so. I should just ignore it. You know how sometimes you get a thing in your mind and you like kind of can't ignore it? <laughs> that might be where I'm at right now. Ugh. Okay, so here we go. This beautiful floral designer series paper. I'm gonna add that to our basic white piece. Okay, put that on the inside of our card. Just add, I love that. We just put a little piece of paper inside there just to kind of add a little beauty to our project, right? Okay, now we're going to add our designer series paper. Okay. Oops, I needed to move that over a little bit. So just don't ever press down too hard and you should be able to kind of lift and move things if you need to, okay? 
All right, so we're gonna add adhesive on all four of these squares. And then we'll start layering them on there, right? Okay, one more. And while we're at it, since I have the adhesive in my hand, let's add some adhesive on these little guys, okay? There's that one. Let's see if I can get that one and that one. Okay, I think I've got adhesive on all of them. Okay, so next we are going to add, this is our gorgeous grape. So we've got some kind of beautiful shades of beautiful purple shades on our card today. That purple and yellow is kind of a fun color combo too, isn't it? With that cute little dancing hippo, so sweet, right? We're gonna add a couple of dimensionals behind our, oh, you really are the best sentiment. Oh, good, Linda says she can't hear him. Okay, <laughs> good, I'm really glad because he's driving me crazy. <laughs> okay, so there's one little heart. Got another one right there. And, oh, I do have adhesive. I couldn't really, couldn't tell for sure, right, if we had adhesive on that guy or not. And then one right there. Okay, so we're just gonna press down, make sure those are all good. So what do we have? I guess one last little detail. So I have like four different shades of purple on here, right? Well, I've got Gorgeous Grape, Highland Heather, and then I ended up, this is, um, is it the Orchid? Yeah, Orchid Oasis I used on here too. And I'm not even sure, I think, that it's kind of funny because I was trying to match. What does it say that color is going to be in here? Daffodil Delight, Flirty Flamingo, Melon Mambo, Mossy Meadow, Orchid. I guess they're saying it's Orchid Oasis because Pear Pizzazz, Rich Razzleberry, Sahara Sand, and Starry Sky. So I think they're kind of trying. That's like a very washed. If it's, if it's Orchid Oasis, it's a very kind of light Orchid Oasis. So, But I think, you, you know, these kind of shades of purple all work well together. Okay. So we're just gonna snip this little guy off. And then normally I would use a glue dot, but since I forgot that, I'm trying to just get a little run of adhesive. And you can kind of just peel that up a little bit. If it's too, if you ran it too long, you can kind of squish it together, I guess, a little bit. Okay, so there is our second card, right? Oh, you really are the best. Okay, so hopefully I've inspired you guys um, that you just can't live without these cute little hippo dies and stamp set, right? Okay, so as always, oh, I forgot to give you the host code, but I've got it right here. I normally do that earlier, don't I? Okay, but here we go. And I always have it on my blog too. So at Gathering Ink with a K, gatheringinspiration.com. If you order online through me, at least $30, you're gonna get one of each of these projects as a thank you from me, right? Make sure you use the host code, the Z-D-K-K-Y-S-C-Y. Again, always on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com. If you bump your order up to over $50, you are also going to receive either the Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial with that super cute card in there, or you can pick the free embellishment, which are the solid faceted gems. Plus, your name is in the drawing to win the Hippest Hippo stamp set and the Hippo dies. Okay? So thank you guys so much for joining me. I love hanging out with you and showing you these fun projects. Hopefully you enjoyed them as well. So, so, so great to see everybody and have you guys all on here. Um, so hopefully you have a great last Friday in June and we will see you on our next Facebook Live. Bye everybody.